If you want to learn how to create a presentation like this, then keep on watching. Hi, my name is Tony and this is my channel Ready Steady Excel. If you want to learn how to get the most out of these applications here, then by clicking subscribe and hitting the bell will put you on the right track. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can move away from your standard bullet points. And I'm going to show you something that's a bit more dynamic, helping you to engage your audience. Okay, are you ready? I know I am. Then let's go. Okay, so let's start by deleting these boring bullet points. So if I click here and delete, we go to insert. And what we want next is smart art. I'm glad I got that word right. Next, go to list. So here you've got a, a selection of list styled smart arts. There's lots to choose from here and you can use any of these, but uh, the one I like to use is this one here. And if I click OK, I can then pop in my text. Now, if I want to add another row, then I can do that just by simply clicking Add Shape. And I can pop in my text here. Now, Smart Art is a selection of shapes that have been grouped together. And for this magic to happen, what we need to do is ungroup this Smart Art. So if I click on it, and one way is just to click Home, and then go to Arrange, and then Ungroup. I need to do that again, because it's not fully ungrouped yet. There we go. Now with these shapes, I can change the color. So it's just a matter of uh, clicking on them and I can go up here and then change the color. I can also change the colors of these lines here just by clicking on it and then going to outline and then choosing my color. You can also change the color of these circles. So if you miss the black bullet points, then you can pop those in if you want to. But I'm gonna keep it as white. I'm going to go ahead now and add the colors to the remaining shapes. And a nice quick and easy way to do that is just by clicking on the Format Painter, double tap, and I can just click here to bring in the color. Now the next step uh, is not essential as much, but it makes it a lot easier when it comes to working with these shapes, and that's to group them. So what I want to group is this one here. And then to group, again, different ways to group. I can click here, arrange, and then select group. But a quick way to do it is just to use the keyboard shortcut, which is Control G. So I'm gonna go ahead now and group the remaining bullets that we have here. And I'm gonna do these individually. So that's my slide all set up. And this is how I want the first part of this process to look. So what I'm gonna do is duplicate this. then go back to slide one. So how do I want slide one to look when my presentation opens? So what, how I want it to look is, let's zoom out a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is just move this line over here. I'm gonna move these shapes down here. And I want the title in the middle. I next click slide two on the left-hand side. And for the magic to happen, I just simply click Transitions, and then Morph. It gives you a little preview of what's to happen. So let's start our slideshow. Let's take it from the top. So there we have PowerPoint tips. If I click, the morph happens. How quick and easy was that to do? Looks so much more impressive, a lot more engaging than your standard bullet points. But there's more. Don't go away just yet. So I'm gonna duplicate this slide. So perhaps slide two is like the agenda for the meeting of what I'm gonna cover. And then slide three is the opening slide for the first topic. So what I'm gonna do now is lay out that slide. This slide here is gonna move out of the way. So let's pop it over there. Title is gonna be up here. I'm gonna move these three bullets out of the way. And I'm gonna move this one at the top. Now I know this one is not the first item in the agenda, but uh, I just wanted to give you an idea of how it works. So that's that one done. Brilliant. It's already morphed. 
because remember I duplicated slide two, so that transition was already on there. Now, if I wanted to, I can control the speed uh, of the duration here. So you can control the pace of your slides. You've also got effect options as well. So by default, it uses objects. But the other options you've got there is words and characters. So let's play this slideshow. So click, so it brings that one up. And if I click again, it does that. How quick and easy was that to do? And how much more engaging does that look? If you want to learn more about PowerPoint, then check out these videos here. And I will see you in the next video.